Which of the following allows debris to be removed from the lung? A. The mucociliary escalator. B. The pleural lymph system. C. Bronchiolar constriction and dilation. D. Granulation. The answer is A. The mucociliary escalator. The system by which debris is removed from the lung is termed the mucociliary escalator. This is made up of two parts, the mucus produced by respiratory goblet cells, and the wave-like movement of cilia covering the bronchioles and bronchi of the lung. Bacteria and particles of debris are caught in the mucus coating the cilia, which is then passed in waves upward toward the trachea. Once it clears the trachea and enters the pharynx, it can either be coughed out or swallowed. The major alveolar cell type, making up 95% of alveolar cells, is type I. Only 5% of alveolar cells are type II, yet they serve a vital function in respiratory physiology. What is the function of type II alveolar cells? A. They are the site of gas exchange. B. They secrete surfactant. C. They nourish the type I cells. D. They are important for the integrity of the alveolar connective tissue. The answer is B. They secrete surfactant. Type 2 alveolar cells secrete pulmonary surfactant, a lipoprotein complex that is essential for lung function. This surfactant acts to break up the surface tension of fluid coating the lung air spaces, allowing for alveolar compliance and reducing the buildup of fluid in the lung. Lack of surfactant can lead to atelectasis, or collapse of part of the lung. Which of the following is the primary muscle of respiration? A. The intercostals. B. The scalenes. C. The sternocleidomastoid. D. The diaphragm. The answer is D. The diaphragm. The most important muscle of respiration is the diaphragm, followed by the intercostals. The sternocleidomastoid and scalenes are considered accessory muscles of respiration. How do bronchioles respond to an increase in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the alveoli? A. They secret mucus. B. They constrict. C. They dilate. D. The bronchioles do not respond to changes in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. The answer is C. They dilate. Carbon dioxide has paracrine effects in the airway, causing the smooth muscle of bronchioles to relax. When the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the alveoli increases, the bronchioles dilate. This allows for increased ventilation. What nerve innervates the diaphragm, necessary for normal inhalation? A. The intercostal nerve. B. The phrenic nerve. C. The subcostal artery. D. The vagus nerve. The answer is B. The phrenic nerve. The diaphragm is innervated by the phrenic nerve. This nerve exits the spine at C3, C5. In the case of spinal cord trauma, if injury occurs above C3, the diaphragm is no longer able to function on its own and breathing assistance is generally required.